gonna play behind me. And then whatever's over. <laughs> Catch by the quickest guy, maybe on the field, Anderson. I just wanted to see him try to leap one of those guys. The hurdle champion. Lay out front, see what he can do. And that's been there all day. And, and you know, that's the big question mark. But there again, another oh, flag bringing on the it ground. back. And I, this is the kind of stuff in a couple of years you're not going to see if it accentuates the execution. I mean, on on the side of the UCLA Bruins, even though they keep stumping their toe, Washington State keeps stumping their toe. You know, Michael Norris got to go back and watch the film and question himself because it seems that they've been picking on him with that same play. He's making the catch, pocket, a little nervous on the road. Rostov throwing, looking for a big chunk, and he's got it down to the 40-yard line. Jetua Anderson. First down for Washington State. And that'll help build the young guy's confidence in the second half. Beat Norris for 29 yards. And this is the way that you have to actually build confidence in a young quarterback. You have a speedster like Anderson on the outside. And I said that in the first half. They're going to have to be able to go deep to loosen up that secondary. Norris has to come up and make a play. That's good athletic play and hanging on. Jeshua Anderson, we mentioned, he's already won the NCAA 400 meter hurdles championship. This was in high school, at Taft High School. He ran the 300 meter intermediate hurdles and he broke the national record. And then he comes up here to Washington State, he wins the Pac-10s. And then after the Pac-10s, he goes on to the NCAAs and he wins that. And he does so in impressive time. Although we talked to his coaching staff, is Jeshua Anderson a track guy who's playing football or is he a football guy who's playing track? And they told us he's a football player. They said he's a football player and they say he wants to be great. Third down five. He went for seven on third downs. Going down the deep sideline to the corner. He's got his man. It's tied to ten. Jeshua Anderson with a catch. And he's out at the four-yard line for Washington State. With that bunch set that you just saw in Jeshua Anderson, they'll try to isolate one-on-one. -on -one. And again, Marshall Lobestad does a great job of placing the ball just where he can catch it. You don't want to make a perfect throw, Steve, every single time over the shoulder. Uh, when I played, I had a lot of players outside that were tall. Coach Price just told me, just give him a chance. Yeah, this ATV, toughest yards. Red zone, how about that, huh? Nice play inside, and here they come. Those were the first toughest yards, and then these were the toughest, but the sweetest as well as Status. Status gets in. Gibson covered, he looked for him. Instead, he comes back to Anderson, who makes the catch at about the 24-yard line. It'll be a gain of about six yards, but only one answer. As Gibson flips to Anderson. Anderson's got room, this could go. Anderson at 20, 25, 30, and gets it out of bounds at about the 38-yard line. Anderson has been the biggest weapon offensively for the Washington State Cougars. And of course, he's the NCAA 400 meter hurdle champion. Absolutely great stride, Olympic level stride. There's no question about it. You look at Jeshua Anderson take off, and he did have a lane. That lane just got a little bit too narrow as TJ Bryant closed it down. 
but still a nice positive play for Washington State going forward in the fourth quarter. 24 yards, longest play of the day for the Cougs. Lapina is back to throw, has time, looking left side. Jeshua Anderson makes the catch and has a first down at the Vikings 21 yard line. Right there you got a case of Portland State. They play a, a man 98% of the time and when it's not man, it's still a man because they have man within zone. And you look at Altron Vernon just clearly just holds for no the damn reason. Good call by the referees. This is their offense always scores just a little bit more than their defense gives them. It's a blitz and Lapina takes a shot, but he also gets the ball to Anderson for a first down. Hanging in there very well, Kevin Lapina. Malcolm Smith is coming hard. And they hear it from the hometown fan. Three of five, 12 yards. Let's throw this time, and it's a little bubble screen to Anderson. Anderson trying to step outside. Over his stop well short of the first down. Field and a late flag comes in as Anderson gets into USC territory. Absolutely great stride, Olympic level stride, there's no question about it. You look at Jeshua Anderson take off and he did have a lane, that lane just got him. As Anderson gets into USC territory. And I, this is the kind of stuff in a couple of years you're not going to see if Wolf just accentuates the execution. I mean, on, on the side of the UCLA Bruin, even though they keep Lobestall throwing, looking for a big chunk, and he's got it down to the 40-yard line. Jeshua Anderson. quarterback you have a speedster like Anderson on the outside and I said that in the first half they're gonna have to be able to go deep to loosen up that secondary Norris has to come up and make a play that's good athletic play and hanging on Tardy State in the backfield following the offense was on the field Jeshua Anderson did get a few touches and I have to say coach Wolf called him one heck of an athlete not only did he have a great season his freshman year but he also runs track for Wazoo where he won the NCAA title in the 400 meter hurdles with a record setting time. He was only the second freshman ever to win an NCAA title at Wazoo. He actually still holds a national record he set on his way to winning the state title back in high school. So you gotta give it to this kid. Not only does he have legs, he's agile too. And when you asked him, Jackie, the head coach, is he a track guy trying to be a football player? What is he? He said, that's a good question. The fact is he's just a heck of an athlete, like you said. And uh, they'll turn him into something special, emerging is how they like to label Jeshua Anderson. See, when you're a sophomore, you could, as long as you have speed, that's one attribute that you need to be successful, and you can get behind people, but they got to have a quarterback that can get the ball to him on some of those nine routes. That's a streak. Running right down the field, throw the ball and take a couple chances. 